Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for the 18th to 25th of March. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you this week. We have a jam-packed astrological week. We have, okay, what do we got? We have the sun moving into Aries, ushering in spring equinox. We have the Libra full moon welcoming in eclipse season because um, it's an eclipse full moon. We've got a lot of change in the air. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, Capricorn. And so do you. Seven. That five of a sword wanted to come out as well, but no, Hierophant. Mm. Magician at the bottom, six of wands. Okay, listen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nelly. Let me pull out the rest of the cards. We're going to dive in because we need to talk about that. Yeah. We do need to talk about that. The honesty card flipped up. The only one, worry. I am learning that worrying does not change an outcome. No more worrying, okay? Don't don't waste your time with that. Let me just get this card here. Square, resistance, struggle, obstacle, experience, effort, learning, conflict, obsession, and problems. What do we got here? And trust the timing. Trust the wave you came on. Time is not running out. This is this is actually huge. Okay, here's what I'm going to tell you. If we were besties, okay, and you and I were hanging out right now, and you told me about your situation, like this thing that you're going through, you know what this thing is, right? It's causing a little bit of, uh, of like in your head, a little bit of over analysis paralysis maybe, or like you're not sure the path that you got to take forward and you're maybe a little bit worried or a little bit stressed out. If I was, if I was your friend, right? And me and you were sitting down having a chit chat together and you were telling me about this thing. And I turned around and I said to you, if you have the capacity to, or if you were given the capacity to wave a magic wand and give and, and, and create your desired outcome in this particular situation, what would this desired outcome be? That's the question I'm going to pose to you right now. What would the desired outcome be? That's, that's your answer to all the problems, the, that clarity that you're seeking, right? Because you're stuck right now on something. That clarity, that worry, or sorry, that worry, that stuckness, the clarity that you seek is in that answer to that question I just asked you. If you had a magic wand and made the desired outcome, what would it be? What is that desired outcome? Because you have the capacity to manifest exactly what you desire. Like literally to a T. You will be victorious in this. If you even got Victoria as your amulet, I didn't even realize that. Victoria is all about being victorious. When you operate directed, connected to source consciousness, and you operate from here, and you operate from your heart. Right now, there may be a desire to try and rush the process, to try and get clarity, to try and get the answers, to try and like push forward, to move forward. And you're like, I need to plan. I need to get this out of the way. It's becoming a nuisance. It's becoming a this. It's becoming a that. Seven of Pentacles. Relax. Relax. Because right now, you reap what you sow. So I go back to my question. If you had a magic wand, how would the desired outcome look like? Reap what you sow. Have patience. Trust the timing that you came on. It's this is huge for you. Page of cups and page of swords. Trust me, trust you. This week will come in like a wrecking ball with a ton of conversations, a ton of messages, a ton of inspired action, and almost like direct downloads from source as to what you need to do to be victorious in this. Ace of Pentacles, there's that beginning that you were seeking, that new opportunity being offered to you. It is going to take time. It is going to take time. This is slow and steady wins the race. You know, how to reverse hair? Is that what is that? The, no. How to reverse fox? Ha, fox versus hair? Tor, turtle, wor, turtle versus hair? Oh my God. You can totally tell that English is a second language because I'm trying to like think of what the animals are in Spanish versus in English. Yeah. The hatter, the hatter and the hair? The hair and the turtle? You understand what I'm trying to put down there? Yeah. Okay. English is my second language. Don't mind me. <laughs> Seven of Swords and the Hero Font. Okay. Slow and steady wins the race here. Do the tried and true method, even if it feels like it's the long path forward. It's okay. You're going to be victorious in the situation. All right. I promise you that the problems that you are seeing right now do not, don't make mountains out of the molehills. Look for the solution. Look for the path forward because it's going to be provided to you by source. Okay. 
Let's dive into your love rating here. If you want to take any of my courses, you want to book a session with me, sign up to my free newsletter, follow me on Instagram, all that jazz. It's all in the description box below. All right, my loves. Okay, let's see here. Flirt, past life relationship, and religious factors. Mm, slow and steady wins the race. Also, go get a massage. Oh my God, I just felt that in my shoulders. Like you're rolling your shoulders forward a lot, either from stress or from feeling like you're carrying a big burden in your life. Yeah, there's something here that's going to be clarified for you, okay? Um, yeah. Queen of Wands with Flirt. Oh, that's a lot of... Oh, my God. Okay, relax. Past life relationship here. Um, strength. Religious factors here. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. You got... Two Hierophants and two Ace of Pentacles. Oh my God, Capricorn, listen to me. Slow and steady wins the race. You will be victorious. You will come out on top. You will be successful. This, this whole thing that's kind of coming together for you, it's going to be exactly what you are seeking. Like, again, going back to what I said to you in the very beginning, if we were buddies and I was sitting with you and I said, Capricorn, what do you want the outcome of this situation to look like? manifest it. Here's what I will also say to you though. Don't attach the outcome to a person. Attach the outcome to what you desire, what you are seeking, what you are feeling. Don't attach to the person. Okay. We don't need to do that. We're not attaching to the person here. This is, this is going to be a week that you will remember. Mm -hmm. Very powerful week. I would write down, especially if you're watching this before the 19th, I would write down what you desire this whole new year to look like for you because astrologically we're walking into the new year on the 19th. All right, here is a video to help you out with this stuff. If you wanna, or the stuff you're going through, I should say. If you wanna work with me in any capacity or follow me on Instagram where I get more intimate with you guys, it's in the description box below. Ditto with my newsletter. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out, bye.